Any questions before we start? Rotate through the body because the hip is rotating into the body. With lifting force, with lifting force, 
lifting force. He wants to go down and break my arm. I say, no. in Bagua, we have positions like this. This position is exactly for this position. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, yeah. How what you perceive what I just did to you versus just flipping my hand up. Your, your analogy with the, the rope or the uh, the, the towel is good because it felt like you were taught, 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 and then it was like, ooh, let go. There was nothing there for me to keep, keep holding. Even though you were thinking you're going to twist my arm to a dead point where it's going to snap. He's feeling my arm. He twists it over, flip flop it over. He's right there. Right here, I'm sorry. If, if, I keep, if I keep my tension in my hip and in my lower back, he's going to, yeah, right there. Yeah, I can, if I don't let go, I'm going to be there. If I go too late, I can't go over my head. Then I'm way too late. The idea is that I want to stretch up so that my head has a space to go into. If I don't stretch up, my head can't do this. I can't carry my hand. If I go this way, my shoulder is blocked. It's medical, right? Not wrong. Not clean. Play in. Play in. Okay. You start to make alignments so that the alignment has a nice spiralation. If one point is out, then the spiralation is going to be like a vibration. Think of your make this alignment in here. I don't want to be this way because now I'm jamming myself. I don't have this freedom. I want this freedom to open so that I can stretch my body to turn. And when I turn, it instantly feels a surge of emptiness and power dropping like what water. One, one open, close. Right, around, right, open, close. Go around, open, close. Go around, close. This is straight line. This is straight line. Opening means not this. We're not doing a Wing Chun position or a piercing, a piercing position. Opening means I'm going to block. Wa in this hand is going to make a flop because I want to be open. And when he comes in, I wa, I wa, and I can open again, follow it around. If I follow it around and I use my body, I can go right into throwing techniques because it's circular motions. So I don't want to end up doing this. I want to end up doing this. So it makes him really come off. So now this hand easily can learn to do this. And the question is, um, in Bagua, when you're walking the circle, I, I've always wondered if, 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 your, if your hips are, are supposed to be kind of in the direction of the circle, vectoring on the circle. Absolutely or, correct. That, that's the way they're supposed Absolutely to be. Absolutely correct. So all that turn. The torque is coming from yeah. the lower spine and around. So actually, I'm, I'm actually looking like this and looking like this. Okay. Walking the circle towards the circle, I've lost the torque. Yeah. There's no more torque in my arm. I straighten out my hips facing the circle. I talk my back all of a sudden. I'm walking around the object so that when my body moves, I can move quickly around the object. This way, now I'm kind of just kind of circling into myself. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. That's how you train your lower spine to have lots of nice power inside the arms. Right. Good. One. Two. I'm pulling something down. Pressing something into my belly. One, like I roll my belly into a position. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two.
basic level would be from here. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's more broken down. It's more about linear. The middle level gives you some round, some pop off the body, as if I'm not having air around me. I have honey around me. Everywhere is honey. So if I need to move, I can't go. Cool. No air is around me. Honey is around me. <clears throat> if honey is around me, and Jake just puts a little bit of pressure to my body, and I try to move quick, I can't. So I want to think, Jake is honey. I want to think, OK, the honey is coming. The, the, the wave of honey is coming in, in this direction. And oh, the honey's so thick, it's going to pull me in that direction. I don't want to think that. I want to think, yeah, the honey comes, I root. I lift. I lift. Uh, nothing, I sink. Uh, I sink. Uh, I turn. Uh, come on, come. I don't turn. Wrong turn. I get thrown by the honey. The honey, I turn. Uh, body. One. Oh, honey's coming. Ah, I ignore. I ignore Jake. So my structure shines through. Not uh, uh, uh. perspective of what my palm is doing. One, two. It has a number of techniques. Jake punches. One, two, two. Can break the, can break the arm away via a circular pattern. One, two, lift. My leg then advances in this position and two, Jake will fall down. If I have a nice body roll inside of here and I'm in here and I use this position here, Jake will fall down. If I want to get the inside of Jake's positions and come to this position and I turn my waist, Jake will fall down. Don't try to do this. Oopsie. No. We want to stay. The forearm wants to stay. I don't want to have Jake here. And I'm like this. Jake go on me the opposite way. We want to be 50 50. So if I'm walking in on him, he's going to press back. If he walks in on me, I don't want to do this. I want to press him back. So I'm keeping him wet. He's keeping me wet. And we stop. see each other in case we're this far away. Oh geez, too far away. You want to look and make sure. Turn back. Turn. Walk. Okay. We're not getting smaller. We're keeping perfect spatial relation between for a combat of motion. For example, if Drake wants to grab my hand then, grab my hand, he can grab my hand, and then I can learn how to move around with my body. Not that if he grabs my hand, put it behind my back. Now I'm in this position, I want to learn how to move around so that I can walk with ease. So we can learn different positions. Okay, to bring my elbow up. We need this position I'm going over the place. <laughs> it can turn and bring my elbow up as I feel fit. Move around. One, two. Now we were practicing. So you start to see the elements of Shao Kaiming start to shine through. He brings my arm up and my arm go up. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, where did he go? Why am I there? You understand? There's different ways you can learn how to play. He can walk, walk, walk. I have him in a good chin lock. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Look. Grab my hand, pull it up. Oh, 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 So you can learn elements of what Bagua and can do for you. One, two, 
One, two. He wants to now raise over. One, two. Wrap me, wrap me. Okay, then he learned how to wrap. Jake's too tall for me for this one. <laughs> so, I lift up, come in. This is all for training purposes on one palm change, knowing spatial relation.